Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I'm going to talk about catalog in power platform this is one of the interesting build announcement that has happened this year so now let's deep dive into it the first question arises in our mind that what is catalog if i explain the catalog in a simple word it is a centralized location or a single source of truth to publish and maintain the power platform components of your organization now what do we mean by those power platform components they can be anything like custom connector or power apps component framework power automate flows canvas apps or model driven app now let me talk about some of the interesting examples here to understand this in a better way let's say you are working with hundreds of developer in your organization and every developer has developed some unique thing for your organization now let's say some of the thing you want to centralized and want it to be available for other people to use let's say you have built some sort of component library like header footer left navigation all right now let's say someone has built this library now we want to have some sort of place where we can publish that piece of code and the other users can directly consume it from there so at the time this catalog comes up into picture now let me talk about how someone can get started with the catalog so catalog is nothing but a model driven application that is installed from microsoft app source and we can add the solution aware power platform components inside that any application or any solution that can be added in the catalog is passed through the specific approval cycle first makers can create the appropriate solution and they submit it for the approval in the catalog after approver approves it it is available across entire organization and the user can easily acquire that piece of solution inside their environment so that's how the catalog process is working now at this moment it follows with the specific security roles like admin approvers installer and submitters they are self explanatory and easy to understand now let me talk about some interesting facts about the catalog catalog is not only limited to one environment it is available across the multiple environment and you can create more than one catalog as well let's say for an example in your organization you have different business units and for different bus you want to create different catalogs you can create it to manage the catalog at this moment we need to use pack cli and it supports native auditing governance and compliance capability as well in the catalog so that's a basic introduction about the catalog now let's get started and talk about in detail demo of the catalog where we will add one solution in the catalog and other users will consume that from the catalog let's see the entire end to end cycle but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform so without further delay let's get started so here i am on my machine and here i have opened one of the environment yt power pages the very first task we need to do is installing the power platform catalog manager and in order to do that open your admin center go to the environment section and open your environment from here expand the resources and you can find an option dynamics 365 apps click on that that will open the open app source let's click on that right now this app is in preview so you will not be able to search from here but in the description box i have provided you one link using that link just open up this interface so it will open this catalog manager application for you now from this button you need to click on get it now from here you need to select your appropriate environment i am selecting yt power pages agree terms and condition and then click on install i already installed so i am not clicking on it again but you need to simply click on install button from here this will take some time and after you install that successfully it will available under the solution of this environment as power platform catalog manager and now let me just go to the app section and let me play this model driven application and this model driven application is looking like this over here you can see the 
different request which is submitted for an approval. From here you can see the contact, you can approve the request from here and after that it is available under the catalog items once it's published. At this moment I have one because before this demo I do some POC that's why I have it but in your fresh case you don't have anything over here. At this moment I have this one solution which I want to add inside my catalog. So now let's get started and check out the process in depth. At this moment if you want to add your solution to the catalog you need to use pack command and to execute the pack CLI command I will use the Visual Studio code. So first of all I already have installed the latest version of Visual Studio code so let me open that up. As soon as you open the Visual Studio code you need to go to the extension section from here and you need to install Power Platform Tools. So in the search just search for Power Platform Tools and you will be able to find this particular option from here and make sure that you install it. I already installed that so it is showing me on install one but if you are for the first time here make sure that you simply click on the install button. Alright so I already installed so I am not going to do it again. Now I just need to open my terminal over here. So I am just clicking on this powershell option from here and that will open this kind of terminal for me. Let me just increase the size of my terminal and here we are. I am good with that. First execute a command PAC pack. Once you execute it you will get the version of the Power Platform CLI and you can see that the version is 1.23.3 okay and over here it is showing you the description of the pack command and make sure that you are able to see here the catalog option available here. If you are not able to see the catalog option using this pack command which means that you have installed the earlier version of Power Platform CLI. So make sure that you always use the latest version of Power Platform CLI. Okay, so we are good with that. Now the very first thing is that we need to establish the connection for our Power Platform environment. And in order to do this activity you need to use a command pack auth create. Then you need to provide a name of your connection. I am providing a name as Dhruvin MVP YouTube and then you need to provide the URL of your environment. Now the question arises that how do you find the URL of your environment? You simply need to go to your Power Platform Admin Center, go to the environment section, open the environment that you wish to open and this is the URL that I copied and pasted over here. So now once you are good with this let's hit enter it will asking you for the credential of your environment so just log in with your appropriate account after your connection is established just execute this command pack auth list and it will show you the connection that you just created okay so now we are going to use this particular connection for our later purposes so now let's select this connection so let's use a command pack auth select dash dash index and 1. Let's hit enter and this profile is being selected. Now let's start to understand the command catalog. So for that I am just using pack catalog and hit enter. So it will provide me the information that what are the other sub command we can use with that. So with pack catalog list it will list all the published catalog item from the current dataverse organization. If you use pack catalog submit then it will submit the catalog for the approval request. If you use pack catalog install then it install a catalog item to the target environment. If you use pack catalog status then it will provide you the status of the catalog install or submit request. And if you create pack catalog create submission which will create the catalog submission document and this is something which is in preview at this moment but maybe in the future it will be removed okay so the very first step that we need to do here is we need to create a submission for our solution i want to utilize this solution into catalog so first of all let's select this solution and first export this solution so i am publishing all the changes and then click on next and export this as a managed solution. 
All right, so the solution has been exported successfully. Click on download. Now go to your Windows computer and create one folder and add that solution over here. After I added my solution, I just renamed that as Power Platform Demos over here. Now I am going to use this as a path into my upcoming code. So now let me just copy this path and let me just open up my Visual Studio code and let's run the next set of command. First of all, I will change the path of my computer. So I will use a command cd double inverted comma and inside that I will paste this path. Let me finish the, that thing and let me hit enter after that. It changed this path and now we need to execute a command. This one create submission and for that what you need to do here is you can simply execute a command pack catalog create submission and as soon as you execute it it will show you the catalog submission document created and now open your path so this is the path we have and it has created this submission.json file now right click on that and open in visual studio code so let me open it up and now we need to modify this specific file so let me just minimize my terminal so i can see this file so over here you can see that it has added different thing over here here you need to provide the business justification provide the publisher display name as pp trainings poc here you need to provide catalog display name so i'm just providing as power platform pocs over here you need to provide description so i'm just providing as proof of concepts then you can provide the support person name so here i'm providing the first support person name as thruvin shah and you can provide the email address so i just provided my email address and here you need to provide your phone number second is you need to provide the another user as well so i will just keeping that as is okay so we are all done so let's save this file so we saved that and then let's open the terminal again now after creating the submission we need to submit that for the approval right so let's execute a command pack catalog submit so that will provide you the information that you need to provide the path as well as your solution zip path okay so these are the different parameters we need to provide so let's copy this command and let's change the thing so first let's provide the path and then whatever solution zip we need have let's provide its path okay so i'm just using this command pack catalog submit in the path first i will provide the json path that we created here so submission.json because i'm already into this particular folder so let's provide path as submission.json and then dash dash solution zip and let's copy this specific path from here so power platform catalog slash pp demos so this is the path you need to copy and paste it okay so simple two thing pack catalog submit path your submission.json and then solution zip and this path you need to provide now let's hit enter and here we are creating a package for catalog submit request and it has submitted successfully and this is the id that they have provided for the tracking purpose okay now let's go to the power platform environment and open the catalog manager application and over here let's go to the request section and over here you can see that this is the request that we submitted let's click on that so you will see the detailed information about that here the request source is from power platform maker portal and here the different thing you can do you as an admin can review the code and mark as completed internal review for this solution is completed functional validation is done deployment is completed so these are the different approval thing you can do it over here you can also see the two person support person's name that we have added and their name is also appearing under this contact section as well okay so you can see this is the contact and this is the another user we have okay so it is appearing like this and now once you are happy with the stuff you can simply approve it so from top you can simply click on complete approval 
But before I do that, let me explain you one more code into PEC CLI. So let's say for an example, with this tracking status, you wanted to know that what's the status of your uh, submission, then simply copy this status. You can simply execute a command PEC catalog status. And as soon as you do that, you will know that you need to pass this to parameter tracking ID and type. So let me copy this tracking ID from here and you need to provide type submit. Okay, so now I'm executing the command pack catalog status tracking ID that I provide here and type submit. So you can see that it has connected and it is showing the status of the submit request is waiting on submitter. Okay, so it's all done. And now let me hit approve. And upon successful approval, it will be available under catalog items. And here you can see that the published application. Let's click on that and you can see the detailed catalog item over here. Now let's see how as any end user we can consume this solution. So let's say for an example, when we open it up as an end user, you will always find this catalog item ID. This is the key that we need to copy and we need to execute pack CLI command in whichever environment we want to consume this specific solution. So let's open up our pack CLI command. So let's execute a command pack catalog install. This command is requiring two parameters. One is catalog item ID that we just copied from here. And other parameter is target URL, which means that in which environment you want to install it. So let's say I have power pages dev environment in my tenancy and I want to install it over here. So I need to find out the environment URL for this specific tenant. With that, let's execute one more command. So now let me execute this command and let's hit enter. And here we are. The package has been successfully installed. Now let me go over here and let me open power pages dev environment and let me go to the solution and see if that is available over here or not. So let's hit refresh. And here we are. We can see that this solution is available into this dev environment. So as a consumer, you have consumed this particular solution over here. Isn't that cool? So that's it for today. If you find this video helpful, make sure that you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. Looking for any paid consultation from me? The website link is available here. You can always connect me from there. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next video. Some amazing session. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.